In this short video, we'll go through a workflow of how you can improve your preliminary designs using both Trimble Business Center, Quadri, and NovaPoint. Currently on the screen, we can see that I've got a ground surface. However, it includes both the buildings, trees, and other features that we don't want, making it a digital surface model. What we'll do is we'll use Trimble Business Center to take this DSM and turn it into a DTM, so that all we have is the ground surfaces that we can use at this early stage to design from using NovaPoint. Let's go ahead and change to Trimble Business Center. I've already got the point cloud loaded up. And if we take a view at different angles, we can see that we have all of the trees included in our point cloud, which isn't ideal. So in order to classify this using the point cloud tools in here, we'll go to the ribbon at the top, select point clouds. With the data I have available, it's already in a region. So I'll select that. I'll go to extract classified point cloud regions. I change my classification type to outdoor aerial, as this was done using an aerial LIDAR survey. I'll select create one new region per class, ensure it's selected and simply press classify. And what this will do is process the point cloud and fit the points into one of these classes. We'll be interested in the ground class as that's what we'll be creating a surface from and passing back through into Quadri for our design purposes. Now that our point cloud's been classified, all we need to do is grab our ground point cloud region and turn it into a surface. Go to the surfaces tab at the top, create myself a surface, name it ground surface. Processed ETM. Surface classification, I'll do it as original. I press apply. And OK. Now that will triangulate that point cloud to create a surface. And with that surface, I'll export it out to Quadri so that we can use it as a baseline for our design in Nova Point. Now that's done, I'll simply go ahead, select my surface, go to Home, Export. And I'll export it to Land XML. Now with that done, Let's go back to Quadri. The first step to get it into Quadri is to create an import task. So I'll go to insert at the top and import files. Now I'll go ahead and simply select it and press open. Now I know it's from the same coordinate system. And with this, I'll just create a simple grid surface. Press OK. Need to select my conversion rules. The default will do just fine. And press finish. With that now imported, I'll go ahead and I'll update my ground surface task that my road design is using. So I'll simply change the import that it's pointing to, as it was previously using the point cloud with all of my trees and buildings in as well. Now in doing that, I'll simply just close down my view and reopen it again to get an updated picture of what we're working with. Now we can see it's removed all the trees for us and the buildings as well. To update our road model with this new terrain model, all we need to do is go to my road task and then rebuild it. Since the road task is connected to the ground surface task that I previously made, it will automatically know to choose the DTM that we've made. And now that's much more reasonable for a preliminary design on this. And if we were to increase our road widening to add another lane, for example, it'll do the cut and fill correctly rather than trying to do it through the trees.